Uh, we're going to be installing a Blue Sea Systems Mini Atta Battery Kit to Ken's 1981 Grady White and we're going to show you how we do it step by step. We're going to show you all the tools, all the materials you're going to need. Alright, so on most boats you have a four position battery switch like this one. You have the off position, you have the one position, the two and the combined position. So when you get to the ramp, you want to start your motor, you switch to one, you crank her up and then once you get to your fishing spot, or you get to your sandbar, you'll be using your accessories like your radio, your lights and stuff, so you'll switch over to position two. And now in the case where your battery is, or one of your batteries has a low voltage, you would switch to combine. So which kit is right for you? Well, there's different kits for different applications. There's also different brands, but for the sake of this video, we're showing you Blue Sea System. This mini add a battery kit is rated for a charging system that produces up to 65 amps, which will be most small and larger style outboards. Blue Sea Systems makes a 120 amp kit as well, but that's for larger engines like inboard outboards and uh, diesel motors. The installation is the same, but the hardware requirements um, are a little bit different. So you might see, need some bigger cables for the larger kits. The add a battery kit eliminates having to switch back and forth between batteries. And it does that using the actual ACR or automatic charging relay. It combines the two batteries while charging and isolates the house battery to protect the sensitive electronics while starting the engine. Uh, this means you turn your switch to the on position and you go about your day. In the scenario where you have a battery that's low voltage, the combined feature uh, that you see here allows you to draw power to start the engine or make an emergency radio call. So I don't know about you, but last thing I want to be worried about on the water is which position my battery switch is turned to. So this is worry-free boating. Let's go over some of the stuff that we need. So we have a marine starting battery. We have a deep cycle or house battery. We have our heat shrinks. We have our seat clamp, padded seat clamps. We have our adder battery kit with our uh, automatic charging relay. We have a negative bus bar of uh, inline fuses, our breaker. We have our fuse block. We have our inline fuse blocks that go on the batteries. We have our battery trays. And th this is marine grade copper tin wire. And then we have a crimper. We have some more connections, um, waterproof connectors here. We have our wire strippers and our crimper. We have some silicone sealant and we have our heat gun which we're going to need last thing that we're going to need uh ken downloaded a uh, a couple pages off of our ebook that we have online for sale and this is going to help us go step by step and install this this whole system so check out our website the link is in the description down below all right let's get started all right we've gone in and cleaned this whole area here and this is where the starter battery is going to sit we're trying to figure out where we're going to put the actual starter switch and the ACR. We don't want to put it up against the transom because then to turn on the switch, we'd have to reach under here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build out of uh, some PVC board or starboard. We're going to build a, a sheet here with the switch so you can take the seat off here and it's easily accessible. And we're going to put it right here. So now we're going to screw in these battery trays to the floor. We got our adhesive and uh, we got our batteries. So starter battery on this side, house battery on that side. I've covered up the, the holes with uh, marine sealant. Old holes, we've covered those up. Now we're gonna place this platform on here. Boom, perfect. So we're thinking of something like this nice piece of uh, PVC board here where we can place our switch, our bus bar, our breaker. Everything's going to go on here and we'll screw it into here and secure it to this part here. And uh, if we want to take the battery out, we're going to have to take this piece out, but that's okay. I think this is just going to be a perfect spot to put it in right here. I'll go just like that. Everything is secured down. We're going to put this to the side. Now we're going to install our terminal fuse blocks. These are 100 amps each. And your wire is going to go in there. We'll show you how to install those now. All right, our fuse block terminals are in on this side. I'm going to tighten down. And here is the port side. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to connect the wires that go from the ACR, the fused or the fuse block terminal to the actual ACR, which is over there. This is a six aug marine grade copper tin wire. And the reason why we're using this size is because of this chart that I'm gonna put up in the screen. This is how you get your measurements. You gotta measure from 
the battery to the ACR and back. And you use the chart to get your the gauge of your wire. So we got our terminal and we got our wire. We're gonna want to cut off this much of sheathing. If you're gonna need a tool, a uh, hydraulic wire crimper like this, you can get this on Amazon. We have the link in the description below. It comes with these dies. You want to pull on this and make sure that it doesn't come off and it's on tight. We're going to slide our heat shrink connector right up until there. We're going to give this some heat. Now we're connecting this wire to the fuse terminal. Now we got to run this wire all the way along here the ACR. Now we're going to connect the house positive wire that goes unfused to the switch position on the bottom. All right, so we ran the fuse and unfused wire all the way under here to the opposite side and we're going to clean this up in a second. So now the, the fuse house battery is the ACR here. And the unfused house battery comes to position two on the switch. House battery fused connects to the ACR just like the diagram. And then our house battery unfused connects to position two just like in the diagram. And we have those two set up. Now we're going to set up a positive starter battery uh, fused and unfused wire we're going to connect it to the ACR and the switch all right we're going to connect the fused wire from the starter battery it goes to the ACR so now that fused wire will come here and connect to the ACR on this side all right there we go and let's get this Now we gotta do the unfused wire to the switch. Sweet. All right, so now we did the starter battery, unfused wire, that goes to position one, which is position one right here. It's gonna sit just like this. Just like this, this is set up here. All right, let's run the ground. We're gonna run the ground from here to the bus bar on the other side. And the negative all across here, all across here, and we've connected it to our bus bar. Now we're gonna connect this uh, starter battery negative to the bus bar. All right, so we ran that negative from the starter battery to the negative bus bar right here. Yeah, we're gonna wire now position two uh, that goes to the circuit breaker which then goes to the the uh, circuit block the fuse block up at the helm which is this over here this is position two over here and that's gonna sit right over there and then this wire is gonna go to the circuit breaker down here and that's a 30 amp uh, circuit breaker it says 200 but we're gonna switch that out so this is a 30 amp circuit breaker all right we set that up here to the circuit breaker again 30 amp not 200 this is wrong so that's set up this way in that position so now to add the ground we have to connect right here where it says ground and that is going to go to the bus bar that we have here and that is a male connection so we need a female connector connected to that inline fuse so this is an inline fuse and uh, they usually come red, they don't come in black. So what we're gonna do to make sure that we know this is a ground, we're gonna put a uh, black heat, heat shrink at the ends with connectors. And this takes a one amp fuse. We're gonna connect that right now. All right, so we have the female connector and that's gonna go into the ground right here. And then this ring connector is gonna connect here to the ground. Let's connect. Now the ACR is grounded, we have it connected connected with the fuse 
everything's connected. So the ACR is wired completely. Now we have to wire the motor. We have the negative that goes to the battery, the starter battery, and then the positive that comes to the top position uh, on the switch, which is this guy right here that goes to the outboard. All right, so that's our negative for the battery. This is the positive that goes to the top position. We turn the switch, it gives power to here, goes to the breaker, and from here to the helm. So that's ready to go. Now we're going to zip tie all the wires, get everything nice and neat, and we're going to mount this up here behind, and we'll be done. All right, we tightened everything up with some zip ties. All right, everything is nice and neat, nice and tight. Got this bracket put in. Ken's going to come in and boo another support. We'll hold that but we're setting it we got to finish putting some bolts in here we got to go to the store and get those but overall that's it we're done now all i can has to do run a six aug wire up to the helm from here and a six aug a ground up through the gunnel to the helm to his uh fuse block and he's got power up at the helm we got the uh on switch to combine and there you have it one last thing that i didn't mention back here you have the uh si port and this is for the ignition and what that does is you can wire a wire that goes to your ignition switch all the way up at the helm and what that does is it keeps your gps and all your electronics from turning off and on when you start the motor and it helps with the drainage of the battery. It's optional. Uh, we're not going to do it here because Ken doesn't have a motor hooked up yet. He doesn't have the ignition switch uh, hooked up yet. So we're going to leave this um, off. But all you do is you run this to the uh, ignition. And I'll show you a diagram of that now. Hey, we're done with the install. Now Ken and you guys are one day closer to getting out on the water. If you wanna check out our other ACR video, check this video out. And if you wanna know how to wire the rest of the boat, check this video out. Don't forget to check out our ebook. The link is in the description below. And check out our merch as well. It helps grow the channel, helps support the channel. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one.